No, it's, it's like a PNC, a grocery map. It's like a grocery map, except where I'm from, in Morrisville, I call it Hannah Fergus, because the F is always blinking. I went there to buy a couple of boxes of them Drake's coffee cases, you know them round yellow puffy ones? <coughs> with the brown sugar, cinnamon, nubbin, now the dingleberry ball rings on there. And and you, you take them out of the package and half them roll off onto the ground and you step on them, but you flatten them, you pick them up, they're full of butter, they're cinnamon in they're goddamn good, them cinnamon freaking balls out of there. They really are. Behind, behind me in line, you laugh because it's true. Yeah. Behind me in line is this health food eating. Freaking Jesus imitating beard wearing Rasta fairy pretzel, pretzel rod, freaking hair sticking out of his kerchief, matted down to dirt, bullshitted hairdo he's got, you know. God darn flies flying around in my face. Hold it, hold a couple of bundles of seaweed or some shit he's buying in here. So, sir, sir, that's me, he's like to me. Sir, you know those cakes you're purchasing? Contain monosulfate, man, which when improperly ingested can cause you filthless, man, so I hope. I look at him behind me, I'm like... He's like, whoa! <laughs> I feel him right under his behind. I felt bad. I helped him up, brushed him off. I'm like, I'm sorry. He says, oh, dude, don't worry about it, man. I haven't been it like that since the last fish concert. <laughs> I did that too fast. <laughs> The thing that gets me about them health food eaters is they wear sandals. No, I don't understand that at all. Freaking freaks, like, guys, uh, women I do, you know, you got your pretty toes, you paint your nails up there. But guys wearing sandals, I freaking can't. Why, why do you wear sandals, guys? Do you want freaking people to see your feet? <laughs> I don't want nobody to see my feet in the morning. I don't look down and say, I think I'll put some pads on them corn, some band-aids on the blister, throw on some ugly freaking t balls go walk around the village and show people my stinking big ass feet. And I hope some of them people are eating. <laughs> you know I mean, I got my head behind steel toe and duct tape. When you're born, they do three things to you right off. They cut your umbilical, they spank you behind you, put booties in your feet so you can't see them, and that is a way you're not to stay. But no, <laughs> every summer, I go to an outdoor cafe, just a minute, I'm getting into my macaroni and cheese. I look at the next table. I see some size 13 gunboats, yellow toenails, curled up my hair, hair around his top, his book. Band-aid on his Achilles. You take your knife, scrape what's behind that band-aid, put it into Petri, just set it in the sun for an hour. You might have your cure for cancer, right, freaking name? <laughs> Sock fuzz, all black and sticky stuff in the corner of his big toe. I say, let the gays marry, but put a band on all sand and wearing pansy asses. That's what I say. Them guys are like, but Jesus wore sandals. I'm like, yeah, that's because there weren't no Timberland factory outlets in Jerusalem back in the day. Because <laughs> if there was, Jesus would have had himself a big old pair of steer toed Timberlands. He'd be kicking the crap out of Judas for telling on him. <laughs> I ain't gonna make no Jesus jokes. He was omnipotent. The thing that gets me most about them sandal wears, them guys who wear sandals with socks. The freaking pecker heads up Franconia. <laughs> Apparently their feet don't stink and sweat enough bare ass. They gotta pull freaking wool socks on their goddamn it. Honey, bring my socks with my sandals. I have a burning desire today. You walk around town looking like Fred Flintstone smoking crack. <laughs> Wearing socks with sandals, fellas, don't make no sense. Wearing socks with sandals makes just about as much sense as me walking around a nudist colony wearing a baggie on my HR puffin stuff. HR. <laughs> Those are friendly. Puff the magic dragon. They love the metric system. Kilos and milo, they use it all the time. They wish everybody would. A lot of people around my age, younger, older, same age. You remember back in grade school, they wanted us to change over, say Celsius instead of Fahrenheit. Me and you said, you remember that? I just about flunked out of school because of that. <laughs> I did, I got S on it, you did too. <laughs> I got S on that test, you know? The health food kids think on me, Rusty man, he's not sick. He don't know metric, I broke out in that and he's it's because of it. My childhood shrinks him, but them freaking health food eaters, they got that metric system right off. They put it right together, they got A's on them tests. They thought it was gonna stick and last forever. Well, it's 2012, I think it's safe to say health food eaters, guess what? We ain't never really ever changing over that metric system, are we? The water still freezes at 32 degrees. You still measure dirt by the yard. And it is still the Daytona 500. It is not the Daytona 812 freaking K, is it? No. <laughs> something, something that health food eaters got, got a lot of is 
money? They do. They don't look like it. They're Kenya. They walk around town tired and hungry, cracking with old jeans and beating it. They drive around in big beat-up cars, rusted out fenders, you know, big uh, station wagons, Volvos and Peugeot, foreign cars. Yet on their bumper, they got a sticker, buy local. Get frig out of here. <laughs> filter it to them through the mail to keep them the friggin' away from them, you know, which is sad. But I, I was walking around an old-fashioned Vermont Farmer's Market last weekend, and still, I'll tell you something, I walked around that old-fashioned Vermont Farmer's Market for an hour and a half. Guess what? I didn't see one out. Old-fashioned Vermont Farmer, right? I see a bunch of hippie farmers, which is fine. I'm just kidding. I mean, I'm a Canadian picking on the hippies. I... So I go up to this hippie farmer fellow, I ask him, how much for a loaf of bread? He's like, $17. <laughs> like, $17? He said, it's zucchini, dude. It's like, big deal in Vermont, if you plant a clever thought, you grow zucchini from it. He said, but it's organic, man. I said, organic for 17 bucks, that shit better be orgasmic, man. <laughs> I said, for everybody that I take that don't have some sort of sexual reaction, I better at least sneeze down your tent, freaking. Yeah. <laughs> I freaking love sneezing, man. <laughs> you like sneezing, everybody? Jesse? You like sneezing? <laughs> you like sneezing? Oh, God damn it, Jesse. I can't get you. No, I freaking love it. It's like, a, it come, it's like, bam. I mean, it comes from my toes, through my shin, through my femurs, through my gizzard, and go top of my head. I go boogers everywhere, Jesse. I, I'm serious. I cannot get enough freaking sneezing. I only do them in twos. Pisses me off. I would rather sneeze and have sex. Really, it is. But don't, don't, me, my age, with sex, you're lucky to get two or three pops a week at it, but sneezing. I stick a feather in my nose and stare at the sun. I can rip off 20, 25 of them. Right there. Sons of bitches covering me. <laughs> Get me a feather and pass me the pepper, goddammit. <laughs> I'll tell you something. I'll tell you what them health food eaters got going for them. They're women. I'm looking for a young guy. 15, like your old guy. Is there a 15 year old guy around? Oh, yeah. Was there a 15 year old guy around somewhere? Shit, fire. <laughs> there usually is. Well, for, there's an eight-year-old boy. I see an eight-year-old from Dalton. Dalton, what's your name, son? I met you before the show. What's your name? Aiden. 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 Dalton, listen, because you'll learn from Uncle Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> you know what health food eaters got going for me, Aiden? Eight-year-old Aiden. Ten-year-old. Eleven-year-old Aiden. They're women. <laughs> Health food eating women, Aiden, are, are, are wicked, 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 wicked. Hot. <laughs> yeah. You're laughing, Aiden? Well, I'll tell you, Aiden, they're wicked, 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 hairy. No, no, no. <laughs> Health food women, Aiden, are open, they're honest, they're secure about themselves and their bodies. <clears throat> I went out with a health food girl for two years, nicest girl. I still remember, remember the beautiful summer evenings. We'd sit in her back porch, she'd be slicing garlic while I'd brush her hair right now. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful bunch of red, red, thick, curly hair she had it. I remember, I'll never forget it, first day, took her out to lunch. On the way back, she's like, Basti, you want to go skinny dipping? I was like, yeah! We run down the pond, took her clothes off. Harry, she looked like Sasquatch on the perm. She's like, <laughs> situation around some of your towns, which is, back when I, let's talk about Franconia, actually that town reminds me of Stowe when I was a kid. 
really kind of interesting that it does, right? It stalls off fancy now. What happens is they go there and rich flat landers, they move up north, they get all the powerful jobs, get to make all the important decisions. Them friggin' people will close school if it's partly freaking cloudy out there. <laughs> they put up the road signs, they spend extra money. They decide moose crossing. You know, I didn't know moose could read. You know? <laughs> hey, Bullwinkle. Yeah, Marty. What are you doing over there at the deer crossing? Our crossing's got that right over here. I'll give five bucks anybody can prove to me they've ever seen a moose crossing at a moose crossing. You know? I told them my truck last winter, I run into a moose. Freaking thing was crossing right in front of our bridges, freeze before a roadside. <laughs> Coming here tonight, I see a big sign. Moose, little sign underneath, next 3,000 feet. How the hell they know that? Who the hell freaking measures that? <laughs> Tell me there's moose next 3,000 feet. I got nowhere to start measuring going on. If I back into a moose, I'm going to pull over and measure back. It's 1,300 feet, one inch. Somebody's going to get their ass to them. Go in your <laughs> Big yellow triangular signs with a wheelchair in the middle of it. Telling you there's someone who lives up ahead who's in a wheelchair. There should be no need for them signs. If you're in a wheelchair and you're playing anywhere near the road, you don't deserve a freaking sign down there. <laughs> I've never driven down the road, come around and turn and see five guys in the middle of it in wheelchairs playing hacky sack. Yeah, you know? <laughs> this for every single time in my life, I drive by one of the wheelchair signs. I do. I look for somebody in a wheelchair. I have never seen anybody. But one time when I was looking, I run over a kid riding his bike, poke both his eyes out, and he's got a sign in front of his house that says, Blind Child at Play. If you're the parent, if you're the parent of a blind child, you're meant to play anywhere near the road. You need to sign dumb asshole parents living in this house. If I see one of them signs, I'll hunt you down and aim for you. Bump! Bump! Gotta have them bump signs, don't we? Up in the kingdom, holy crap. Yeah, in the springtime, don't you just love those bump signs? Oh, don't you just wish so once in our lives they put the bump sign somewhere near the friggin' bump? <laughs> <laughs> hey, honey, pass me that letter opener, will you? Boom, my boot. <laughs> and the state workers are in the bushes. Check this guy out. Or, uh, what's that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> slow, stop, stop, slow. I don't give a shit. Let them all go. I wish at crosswalks they'd go back to the flashing walk. Flashing don't walk signs, because now they got a hand and the guy's standing there like that. <laughs> one means to do what? I think the hand means, hi, come on over. <laughs> and the guy means, don't move. Because <laughs> <laughs> if the hand means stop, shouldn't it be like that? <laughs> if the guy means cross, shouldn't it be going? <laughs> And I come over and I'm like, Jesus Christ, I'm sorry, <laughs> Deaf child area. Deaf child area. I see one of those signs immediately. I was concerned, so I beat the horn. And, and they can't hear. Well, they can freaking see, can't they? It ain't like I'm in an invisible car. <laughs> But Aiden, you run over one of them deaf kids, you know what they're going to say to the judge? Dad, 